how the foreign policy led to the downfall of Napoleon Bonaparte. So we are realizing a man who said everything is possible, only the word impossible is written by fools in the books of dictionary, finally collapsed. A man who said a normal man sleeps for only two hours, a woman four hours, and a fool eight hours, finally came to an, what? To an end. He said, I know where my eyes is tall, but I don't know where my ambitions is tall. Very ambitious man. But we are realizing the foreign policy led to his what? Downfall. We, for example, we are saying the collapse of the League of Alliance of Armed Neutrality of Russia, Denmark, Russia and Sweden. It is said at one time Napoleon designed a treaty or an alliance of armed neutrality where he convinced Russia, Denmark, Prussia and Sweden that when a country attacks France, we are, you are supposed to be what? Neutral. How together? You don't support France and you don't support that one country. But when at when this League of Alliance collapsed, it meant that those countries had to side with Napoleon's enemies. And this later led to the downfall of Napoleon Bonaparte. Then the involvement in the Battle of Trafalgar against Britain reigned in Napoleon's naval force. We are realizing Napoleon, in a bid to defeat Britain, he had to fight in the Battle of Trafalgar. What happened in the Battle of Trafalgar? It is said in this battle, finally Britain defeated Napoleon Bonaparte. And this was a very great step towards Napoleon's one downfall. Another one, the dynastic policy of employing his brothers and friends uh, as the kings of several states in Europe. For example, Jerome Bonaparte was made the king of Westphalia. Joseph Bonaparte, the king of Spain. So we are realizing this made many people to rise up against him because he was employing his brothers and what? Relatives. And this made him to create so many enemies. Then Napoleon won his continental system. In the continental system, in a bid to defeat Britain, he designed an economic what? Strategy. Where he refused the countries to trade with what? With Britain. And by this time, this made Britain to ally with other countries to fight Napoleon Bonaparte. Even the traders could not survive in France without a country called what? Britain. So they rose up against Napoleon Bonaparte. Another one, the imprisonment, imprisonment of the Pope, Pius VII in 1809. So we are realizing Napoleon told the countries not to trade with Britain, but Pope Pius continued to trade with what? With Britain. Napoleon imprisoned the Pope. And by this time, this made him to lose support of the Catholic Church. Since the Catholics were many, this was a great step towards Napoleon's unpopularity and finally led to his what? Downfall. Another one, the invasion of Russia in the Moscow campaign of 1812. I can tell you, this was a strategic mistake. Russia continued to trade with Britain. Napoleon declared the war on a man called Alexander. Alexander won. In where? In Russia. The Russians heard that Napoleon, Napoleon's soldiers are coming. They deserted the city. They took all the food. 
They poisoned the water. Napoleon soldiers came, they started drinking what? Water. And of course, they were not used to winter what? Season. Many of them had to die. A man who went with around 600,000 soldiers, he went back with around 20,000 soldiers. I can tell you, even he had recruited younger boys of 10 to 11 years to fight in where? In Moscow. It is this that made him to be an what? Popular. And this led to his downfall. Then the defeat of Napoleon French forces in the Peninsula War. It is said, Portugal continued to trade with what? With, the Brit, uh, with Britain. So Napoleon declared the war against Portugal, but he passed via Spain out together to attack what? Portugal. Portugal. When he was moving from Portugal back to France, he realized that the king of Spain is very what? Weak. He said, I'm overthrowing you to do so. And by this time, this annoyed the Spaniards. They allied with the Portugal. And finally, they defeated Napoleon Bonaparte. And this led to his what? Downfall. Then, the miscalculation of Napoleon in the Battle of Nations at Leipzig. It is said, Napoleon thought that he had a great army to fight at the Battle of where? Leipzig. But what happened in this battle? It is said many of his soldiers had to be killed altogether. This explains why in the other wars that came later, Napoleon had to be what? Defeated. So I can tell you the miscalculations he made in the Battle of Leipzig made even smaller states to rise up against, against him. And this finally led to his downfall. Then we are realizing the involvement of Napoleon and his defeat at the Battle of Waterloo. Let me tell you, at Waterloo nations allied together to fight against Napoleon Bonaparte. At Waterloo, Napoleon was defeated when he was asked why he was defeated. In the Battle of Waterloo, he said, when a man seeks death, he cannot find it. Bullets were everywhere, behind and in front, but there was no bullet for me. So they forgot Napoleon's bullet. I can tell you, finally he was defeated. Another one, Napoleon's attempt to destroy Britain's trading empire. We are realizing in the Conedo system, Napoleon wanted to, to destroy Britain's what? Empire. And this explains why Britain had it call upon countries to finally defeat Napoleon Bonaparte. And this explains why finally Napoleon had to do what? To collapse. Another one, the policy of spreading revolutionary doctrines which was opposed by Prince Metternich. Revolutionary doctrines like liberty, equality and fraternity. In this kind of arrangement, it is this policy that made Metternich of Austria to call upon countries to fight Napoleon Bonaparte. Because Metternich was against liberty, equality and fraternity. And this explains why finally he had to collapse. Then the excessively aggressive and expansionist policies of Napoleon Bonaparte. So we are realizing Napoleon had what you call expansionist what? Policies. He was never contented in his mind at a time when he had everything. He felt that he wanted more. This made him to create so many enemies around him what? He must serve. And finally, this explains why Napoleon had to do what? To collapse. So we are saying 
the foreign policy led to the downfall of Napoleon Bonaparte. So I can tell you, finally, Napoleon had it come to an what? To an end. So you must be, you must have a reason to explain Napoleon's foreign what? Policy. In this kind of arrangement, when you are writing history, you need to respect the word Africa. Africa in full it means attempt all the required questions, F follow instructions, R read extensively, I improve on your writing, C concentrate on your work, and A attend to God. Attend to what? 